Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today starting a new series because of there were some significant changes, even though that it is it's not like a new alpha or anything, but uh, Alpha 7.5 introduced some significant changes on how you you make things and the resources needed to create stuff. Um, so because of that, <clears throat> I think we need to do new new series and Alpha 7.5. So let's do that. We're going to start a new game. So we're going to do the uh, default single player and we'll call this um, Alpha 7. Alpha 7.5, really. Why not? Yeah. Survival mode. I, the seed. Uh, sure, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> we could randomize it, I guess. Uh, custom settings. I'm going to be doing... Uh, I want to actually progress through the tree and everything fairly quickly. So I think um, what we're gonna be doing is we'll, we'll stick with medium starting equipment. That's kind of what you get as a default in most multiplayer scenarios. And that's the average starting equipment. Uh, player progression, I think we're actually gonna put that up to fast. Although I might be doing you guys a dis, you know what, I'll, I'll leave it at normal because I might be doing you guys a disservice uh, sh speeding up my leveling and where it shouldn't normally be. So, okay, we'll leave all that on normal, the player stuff. The life stats, food consumption, slow. I guess we'll put this all to normal. Oxygen consumption, normal. Temperature, normal. But the amount of ore... Um, so I think I want to leave that at rich and plenty because I, I don't want to have a problem building or getting resources because that's just a drag. Auto mine of depletion true. That means will it deplete the um, node or not? <clears throat> For enemies, I want pretty much all on hard. Enemy difficulty hard. Rate of spawn high. Overall drone presence high. Drone base attack hard. But I want to be able to construct stuff fairly quickly, so we're going to leave the constructor speed at fast, blueprint speed fast, the spawn limit set to true, and also the block limits to certain devices. We're going to set that to true. Okay, let's run with that. And Akua or... I guess all we got is Akua or Omicron. Um, well, let's, I mean, we might as well go with the full survival experience, right? Uh, requiring oxygen the whole bit, having a patrol vessel hound us from day one. Yeah, let's do Omicron. So, they've done changes to ammunition now needs wood, or fiber, I should say which can be made from wood, but can also be picked. Uh, so, <clears throat> interesting. They removed the Prometheum aspect out of, out of a bunch of the starter ammunition and added that cellulose, cellulite, something. I'll have to look it up. We'll look it up. So, what did I see over here? That is the wood cabin. Okay, so silicone uh, I think I still want to do my typical try and find Prometheum time type, type thing while smashing rocks and then and then dig out Prometheum <clears throat> but we'll go check out the wood cabin and get what we can out of it we'll take our pod stuff now the drawback to starting on Omicron is 
you can't do a bunch of the starting quests like you can when you start on Akua. So that's the a bit of a drawback. There are a bunch of quests you can do, and we'll uh, we'll look into that. First of all, I think all we want to do. I, I just came in here to to show you guys. It's just a on Omicron, you 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 crash land really close to one of these survival POIs, and uh, I believe on on um, single player Akua you do too, but. You can see it, it's got actually three grow plots and some stuff. It's got stuff we can loot. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this base right here, this freebie base that it gives you on Omicron is a bit of a red herring if you think you're gonna be safe. Now, the reason I say that is we have 24 hours of daylight to get as much stuff as we can. I'm gonna take that. I'm not going to worry about that stuff right now. Um, and we're going to grab our stuff out of here, which I already did. So now isn't there a cargo box? I'm going to go into the control panel by hitting P and I'm going to select my personal cargo box and the cargo box. So there we go. Oh, shotgun upgrade pit and some glass plates. Well, that's fine. It's too bad it wasn't a multi tool because I had a charge there and I'd like to multi-tool this place now but in the meantime what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bunch of our gear in our toolbar so um, we're going to need wood but I'm going to try and do this on 50 bullets without shooting anything so you say I'm crazy I know I know I am but we're going to try. So right now what I need is rocks and promethium. And I don't see much of either. There are lots of rocks over here though. So I guess we're going to, we're going to get our uh, mining drill equipped. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click to go into and switch it to, um, stone removal because we're not going to be digging that silicone yet only 160 yeah not a lot okay so we don't actually have a motorbike or a ore scanner which is kind of a drag we got 10 of the small bottles with us we are going to have to watch our oxygen we're going to get have to get that uh, emergency oxygen generator down fairly quickly but I need to sort myself first and get a bunch of materials. So what I like to do is just run into these rock piles here. And really, it's going to... Oh, did I not load it? Okay, maybe not. So let's still make sure we're on stone removal. And I got seven silicone from that. Great. I'm going to pick everything I can. Uh, you pick stuff by... Targeting it, hitting your F key by default. I, I'm pretty sure you can switch all that up. If you have a programmable keyboard mouse, you can set up some macros to do most of this stuff. So I'm sure most of you guys that are hardcore gamers and do that sort of stuff all the time can figure that out yourselves. Now... The other reason why I'm picking just absolutely everything, you're, you'll see that it's actually giving me really good experience. And my goal here is to get enough, not only get enough resources, but to also hit level four. And before, uh, before 24 hours has passed in the game, the first 24 hours is critical. You get, 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night before predators spawn. So that gives you basically 24 hours in game to run around, get as much stuff as you can. And I would suggest getting enough stuff to spawn in a 
a basic HV of some sort. Uh, okay, so we still got some rocks over there. So I'm going to start using my sprint here. And you can see my stamina is going down while I sprint. And my oxygen level is going down too, but that's always going to go down because the atmosphere is not breathable on this planet. So because I do not have the O2 icon beside my helmet icon in the lower left corner, I, my suit will automatically draw oxygen instead of it'll draw on its own reserve instead of from the atmosphere. So if you have that icon up, your suit stops using its own oxygen reserves and uses whatever the exterior ones are. I don't know why I missed that rock there. That's kind of crazy. So I'm really, really hoping to find some Prometheum. Uh, they have changed up how a bunch of stuff works, but I don't care. I need Prometheum to fire up my HV because I'm actually going to fire up an HV before a base. Yes, I'm going to spawn a base, but just a platform to be able to spawn an HV. Now, the game mechanic currently is you need a large enough uh, area. Oops, I don't know why I zapped that, but I wanted to pick that up, not zap it. Thank you very much. Okay, get my jetpack on so I can do some jump running. Okay, level three, excellent, excellent. So we'll, we're well on our way to level four, which is the ultimate goal here. And so we also need, where are we? oh, we're doing good, doing good. So we're, we need a lot more silicone and copper and uh, we need uh, basically about triple of what they got so far. Well, iron, not bad, not bad, okay. So, just get everything here, these big rocks. Another trick too is you can run west and keep up with the sunlight. Now, I've never attempted to actually run around the entire planet yet following the sun, so I don't know if it actually skips over to the next day automatically maybe when you go through the barrier there's a uh, not the barrier but the seam let's call it a seam it, it's where the two halves of the play field connect together the two sides of the play field wrap around and connect together using a seam which is more like a teleport really it's basically what it's doing in a sense Okay, uh, let's keep smashing this stuff and taking these rocks. I don't necessarily have to get all of them, but I do have to cover some... I want to kind of get out there a bit so that I can discover more stuff because I really need... I really need Prometheum, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oops. Yeah, it can be a little tedious just running around and gathering rocks and stuff, but like I say, this is a very critical part right now. I really need to find Prometheum. If I do not find Prometheum, this could end in disaster. <laughs> like seriously. The alternative is that I use biofuel. Now that is a possibility and that's why I'm trying to pick everything that I can. So I've never had to do that yet, but fibers don't spoil, but I think that's fire moss does. Okay, I'm really missing a lot of these rocks here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to go head back in the same direction. I want to keep heading in one direction to try and, you know, maybe zigzag a bit. Cover as much ground. I really need to find Prometheum. Lots of worms. Come on, Prometheum. I really need to see some Prometheum. Okay, I'm going to have to do something about my oxygen here. Let my, let my stamina build up again. Oh, it gave me a bottle of wine. I could use that. Huh. Food poisoning. Yeah, I don't... Is that... Does it perish? No, it doesn't. Okay, so it's like uh, cava coffee. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's one of the new recipes, right? You can make that with akua berries now. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So, let's keep going. Got lots of stuff to do before we can rest. I really hope I don't have to do the entire base with solar panel only power, and uh, that is a possibility if I don't find Prometheum. there I need to smash rocks <laughs> sorry I know I'm heading back towards where I've been but I'm not going to reveal much this way but I really need this stuff and all the just the stuff I need it all okay Okay, let's look if I revealed any no. Should I keep going that way? Or the water over there? You know what, the silicone and copper. I think I'm gonna head, let's create a waypoint here. And yeah, we're going to head this way and smash these rocks and see if we can find something near the water. Because if not, I'm going to have to take a plunge into the water, I think. But, yeah. I don't know if the emergency O2 generator uses biofuel, though. That'll be interesting to see. I've never tried. Huh. You can see I'm getting some cobalt too, which is nice. That'll allow me to, to do some minor upgrades without actually having to go to space to get it on the moon or something so okay Get some more of these flowers and stuff It'll all spoil into biofuel and feed me too, potentially.
Well, at least medium. Medium started me with eight biofuel, which is pretty decent. Or did I? I didn't even look to see if I actually looted that out of the uh, personal container in the wood cabin. I might have. Okay, level four. Nice. Nice. So we've hit level four. Uh, we need that to create some harvesters on the front of the HV that we're going to spawn. And my oxygen level is getting low again. So realistically, I can't even dally anymore. I got a booker. Oh, I let that worm go. Huh. There you go, buddy. Be free. I just got to run now. So we've got a kilometer to cover. I don't have a lot of oxygen. I don't feel like stopping here and putting up the the oxygen generator. Because I need to pick that up pretty quick. I, I don't want to waste my Promethean pellets potentially on uh, yeah, I don't really want to build a base out here in the middle of nowhere, not close to any water. Okay, what's our... What are we at here? We've got enough silicone, we've got enough iron and enough copper. So we've got a decent amount of stone. We gotta just book it now because my oxygen is getting really low. And we're down. We've now used up over half of our stash that we started with. And yeah, I'm almost, yeah. So I've got one bottle left. Okay, so we'll <clears throat> we'll keep making our way over there, but we're gonna make more of a direct route to it. God, I really need Prometheum. Really, 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 really desperately. Oh, I know I said I was going to take a direct route, but I'm just not, I'm not going to go over there. I'll... <laughs> Just kind of zigzag a little bit through here. We're almost through our first day. And we've got the resources we need except for Prometheum. So that this could be a big problem for me. But we'll see. We'll see. Like I say, I don't know if the um, oxygen generator will take uh, biofuel. I have I've never tried. I might have to. It's nice to see that cobalt. Promethium. Promethium. I know I'm not hitting every rock now. I'm just. Time is now against me. 
I'm not, I have not found Prometheum, and it's into night. So this is looking really bad for me. I might have to pull out my, um, I might have to whip up a, a motorcycle really quick. If I don't, if I don't find anything soon, I will have to make a motorcycle. I'm just going to run past all this stuff. I guess I can pick it as I run through it. Smash. <sighs> so yeah, oh, I see stuff over there. POIs necessarily want a POI though. Huh. Now I wonder if they added anything to the lake bottoms yet. If they added the little Prometheum rocks then we might be okay but hopefully I'm not just wasting my time here. I don't know if this is, oh, I want to stay away from that, whatever that is. I don't think this is going to get deep enough, is it? Yeah, it's weird. They didn't make the lakes very deep in the new, in the new um, models, the new handcrafted play fields yeah no okay so <sighs> I guess we head this way stay near the water wait which way am I facing I want to get out of the water here Doesn't seem to be deep enough anyway. Come on, let me out. No, it's still not let me run. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay. Oh, come on, Prometheum. I'm gonna need to get this uh, O2 station down soon. And I've not found Prometheum. That's not good. Yeah, I'm a little bit stymied. This is gonna suck. I need a motorcycle, but I need the I need the O2 going. I might have screwed myself. So I think we need to go hole up for a minute. Let's run over here. Try and have cover from the mountains. something over there that's not good oh 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's just, uh, if need be, you know what? I can do that right now anyway, because it'll break line of sight on stuff. So let's just go in the water. Uh, I'm going to have to put this down. I have to at this point. It's really not what I wanted to do, but. And we're going to put, let's try a biofuel. Yep, it took biofuel. Oh, nice. Okay. So we'll let that run on bio. Oh man, that's going to save my hiney. Okay, good. So let's get that going right here because we need to make stuff. So let's get 10 of those, 10 of those, and 10 of those. Uh, do that. We'll eat. Actually, that lasts a lot longer. Let's eat 23, 25. Eat some corn. Can't eat that. We can eat that. Uh, Moon. We'll hang on to that. We don't need to uh, use that. Can't eat that. That's for cooking. I guess for medicines and stuff, right? So 25. Oh, wait. No, I want to let that spoil. What am I doing? I shouldn't eat that. Wait, if I pick this up and drop one, two, three, that should all be this. Yeah, okay. Come on. We don't have all day, literally. We do not have all day. How's this doing? Excellent. We'll just take that right now. Using biofuel is going to help a lot, and it doesn't... Yeah, I'm not going to waste my uh, Prometheum on, my, on the oxygen generator. That's a huge thing, actually. That's huge. Okay, how's this doing? Okay, so motor, nanotubes, optical fiber, electronics, steel plate. So we're going to need steel plates for a bunch of stuff. So let's do... That should make 20, right? Yeah. And then we're going to need a couple of that. Some optical fiber. We're going to need nanotubes. So we need a motor. There we go. And oh, we need a little bit more nanotubes. Okay, here we go. We can make the kit. <clears throat> okay, and then we can actually make the motorcycle. Normally, I don't even bother with the motorbike, but because I didn't find Prometheum, we have very limited time now. I'm going to have to, like, race like a madman. Okay. Pick that up. We're going to... 
to. Jeez, that's all it got. Ugh. We really don't have a lot of time to wait for it, but we need it bad. We need that O2. Okay, I'll get one more bottle and then we'll we'll use that and race around. At least I know I can use my biofuel. And this stuff is slowly perishing. So we'll have a bunch of spoiled food food eventually. So eat some right now. That way I don't have to use my emergency rations. Come on. Almost. It can be a waiting game sometimes. And okay, let's pick that up. And we will now there was a bad dude that way, wasn't there? If we head west, so if we head west, we'll chase the sun. So let's head west. I know we are already west, but now I've got a motorcycle. And I'm a little bit desperate at this point, so it is what it is. That's not good. Oops, didn't want to hit F. Back on. Let's get to a lower elevation. Besides, there's a red dot there behind me. So, lower elevation. Come on. Come on, there we go. So, right now, I'm just trying to discover stuff. That's all I'm trying to do. I need Prometheum, really. So I'm heading south as far as I can. And then I'll cut to the west. Okay, so there's the barrier. I'll head west. to the too close to the barrier maybe hmm. and train is getting a little rough that's okay it's okay it's okay come on Prometheum really So there's a base up there. See that? We're almost caught up to the sun. <laughs> We've given ourselves a whole bunch of time, I think. And can it make it? Oh, wow. Did they beef up the motorcycle? Because that would have never been able to do that before. Holy crap. Well, let's see what this motorcycle can do then, huh? Huh? Let me just see what's going on there. Okay, so we are heading up this way. Okay. So there's, it looks like the drone base or something over there. So I guess we're circling around to the back of the cabin yeah not really what I wanted to do can it make it oh wow it's actually climbing this stuff did they and I'm actually steering it on hills like 
Did they actually? Let's see. Can I actually? Let's see what it can do now. And is it going to do it? Look at, look at, look at. No way. No way. No way. Oh, it can't quite do it. Okay. Nope. Not that. I wanted to pick it up. Okay. Come on, Promethium, come on, somewhere. It's going to get awfully cold up in those mountains. Come on, Promethium, really? <laughs> this is crazy. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll just head north now. Time is going to kill me and maybe head over to, I might have to go to the, uh, to the admin. Might have to do it. That really sucks. So north and then west, I guess. Okay, let's turn our lamp on. There we go. Sorry, guys. Must have been like super dark. Okay, get up here. Come on. Need Promethium. Come on, Promethium. Okay, do you think I can drive up here? No, I doubt it. Let's... Booker. Uh, it's getting a little bit more flat up here. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can get on my motorcycle and drive. Uh, still big crevices and stuff. My The motorcycle just can't navigate that stuff. I don't care how enhanced they've made it. And, ooh, it's getting cold up here. Yep, 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 yep. Damn. That's not good. We gotta get down lower, a little bit lower. Come on. Come on, temperature drop. No, or not drop, but go up, I should say. I don't want it to drop anymore. It'll freeze to death. I don't have anything to warm me up. I think I ate the steak. Yeah, it's getting colder. It's getting colder. I'm going to be in trouble here. I'm going to get down off this mountain. This plateau, whatever it is here. Ouch. That hurt a lot. <laughs> I'm I'm rushing a little bit. I should have hit my jetpack to avoid that. I didn't think I was actually going to take damage from that though. So Oh, come on. I jetpacked at the last second there. Come on. Killing myself. Literally, I'm killing myself. My oxygen's almost up. God. <laughs> this is not good. No promethium yet. Okay, I got to stop and put oxygen down. Darn. <sighs> not good. I'm not in a good spot to, to, to do this. I'm going to die up here. <laughs> I'm really going to die. Body temperature minus five. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Minus, minus. Body temperature minuses. Great. Body temperature five. Let's do that. Okay. And we're going to get this in here. Eat some corn. I think I'm screwed. I seriously think I'm screwed. Huh. 
I might have to head back to the wood cabin. Oh my god. That would be... I would consider that a fail. <laughs> I would consider that a fail if I had to go back to the wood cabin. I might have to. I might have to, and then... Yeah, it's looking like I might have to here. <sighs> that seriously sucks. Come on. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Come on. Temperatures dropping. Not good. This thing is so slow. Not good. Yeah, at this point, my oxygen is starting to become a problem. So I'm going to have to bail and do the wood cabin for for temporary shelter. You know what? It is what it is. So we're going to run back. We're going to run back to the uh, wood cabin and um, finish smelting a bunch of stuff, get the oxygen down. And I might be able to modify it enough to spawn the uh, HVN before the CV comes and destroys it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to power it up. I'm not going to waste my power on it. I won't need to. 57. Okay, can we put down the motorcycle now and just race for it? Let's go. Let's try. Looks like it. Oh, come on. Oh, darn. I don't have time. I just got to get there. 50 oxygen left. I got to get this oxygen down. 45. Thirty-seven. Okay, let's just throw this under here or something. Or somewhere where it's going to be easy to get to. Okay, right here. There. And get that going. Twenty-eight. I'm going to actually suffocate, I think. If I stop moving, maybe I won't use so much. Okay, well, let's get the survival constructor down too. Get my stuff into it so if I die, at least uh, it'll all be there. Get all these ingots in. Just put everything in for now. Okay, and we might as well get stuff going here. Uh, so we need more of this stuff. Get that going. 15 oxygen. Am I gonna make it? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. 12, 11, 9. <laughs> 7. 
on. Six, five, five, <laughs> and oh, is that ever gotten it close? <laughs> uh, well, guys, I'm going to call it here. And um, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Tune in to see if I succeed in not dying. So that was pretty close there. I almost suffocated. <laughs> Don't have a lot of night left before critters start spawning. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Well, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see when I post the next one, uh, subscribe and you'll get a notification. Till then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome day.